isang mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat at sa ating Panginoon. So, undivided love. We often hear this many times, but do we ever understand it? So, for our devotion po today, ito po ay matatagpuan sa Mark 12 verse 30, NIV version. It says there, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. So, to love God wholeheartedly, it calls for a complete and undivided devotion to God. So, involving the heart, soul, mind, and strength. So, this is a deep and comprehensive love that encompasses every aspect of one being. So, how do we define the love that we are giving to God? So, first, with our hearts. This signifies the seat, the seat of emotions and affections. So, loving God with the heart involves genuine, heartfelt devotion. So, when we are in the midst of emotional state, can we see ourselves that we are still in the Lord? Second, with our souls. The soul represents the core of one's being. So, it is our divine deep connection to God. So, can we say right now that our souls is in the Lord? Can we say right now that our souls is purified and saved? So, third is with our minds. So, this refers to intellectual engagement. Loving God with the mind implies a thoughtful and intentional commitment to understanding God's will and ways. So, when we are in the midst of decision-making, do we ever consider God? Do we ever seek and obey the Lord's will? So, forth with our strength. So, this encompasses physical and practical aspects. So, loving God with strength means active obedience and service. So, the question is, do you pass the four dimensions of love for God? So, if it is yes, amen. So, this commandment challenges individuals to live out their faith in tangible ways. So, it prompts believers to seek to understand and follow God's will, to worship Him sincerely, and to serve Him and others with dedication and love. So, it is also designed to bring us to an understanding that without Christ, we can do nothing. So, Ayun lamang po for our devotion today. Isang mapagpalang araw po muli sa ating lahat at sa ating Panginoon. God bless po.